Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm finally coming at you guys with a wig tutorial. I guess you could say that this is more like a get ready with me, watch me put on my wig. I actually just recently learned how to install wigs about a week ago because this is so new to me. I mean, I have been using wigs for about two years, but I have never felt confident enough to like sit down and explain everything to you guys, which is why I've lagged it to do this video. So this is what the hair looks like. Um, when I start this tutorial, you guys are gonna be able to see how short my natural hair is this wig install will last you about a week depending on how good you take care of it and how bomb you secure it but yeah this is pretty much going to be a start to finish video on the installation part on um, how I do my base and then I am going to be going over a few products that I'm using also some new products that I'm using this is the wig that I'm going to be going in with today she's so fucking pretty I've owned her for about let me see i bought her like in june july august september october november so it's been five months that i've had her and she was actually parted to the side but i went ahead and parted her to the middle this is another thing if you guys want to get into wigs you need to purchase yourself a wig stand in order to be able to style the wig before you install it you see how it's already starting to get complicated so for me it's easy to style the wig before i put it on so that way when i put it on well i guess it just depends you know but for slick straight i like to straighten it before i put it on so that way when it's on it's just like i'm pretty much already ready to go the only thing i have to do is just lay down the baby hairs so this is a custom colored wig as well as a custom made wig so this is the glue that i have been using recently but i did order a brand new one it is called the ghost bond xl this one is much stronger the got to be is good enough to secure yourself for the night but by the next day in the morning your your edges are already kind of like coming up right here versus this one like it just really sticks on but it's much stronger um so sometimes your real hair gets caught in it and then it's so hard to take it out i guess it just depends how long you want to leave your install in and if you guys can hear um voices in the background it's actually thanksgiving right now so emmanuel and baby manny are in the living room and his brother is also here so this is how i start with my base i split my hair in half so um on one side i'm just gonna like hold it in a ponytail so that way when i start to um braid it it's not gonna get in the way so if you guys have really 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 thick hair you're gonna have to have somebody cornrow your hair down since i don't really have a lot of hair and i don't really mind if it looks a little poofy back here because i don't have a lot of hair like i ain't even tripping so i'm going in with my johnson's uh what is this what is this called you guys know what it's called y'all know this is a brush that i love to go in with this is called the scalp master i just kind of comb everything back to lay down my baby hairs i'm just gonna grab some of this and i do like to put some on the back of my hand like this so that way um when i put it on it's like not messy everywhere this gel is pretty strong so it does slick back your baby hairs and I do like to put a good amount so that way these baby hairs don't stick up because when you actually do your hair and put on the wig like the smallest baby hair show up trust me i'm also gonna do the back right here just to kind of like keep everything together back here as well so now i'm gonna go ahead and comb and you see how when you comb back all the baby hairs are like gone it's not gonna be like the perfect braid i'm just gonna go ahead and do just like a quick little braid right here i don't have little hair rubber bands so i'm just gonna have to use computer desk rubber bands because i'm desperate okay so now we have our braids um, I have some bobby pins right here. These are from Dollar Tree. They have some really good bobby pins there So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this braid back here like Crossing my head and I'm gonna put in like two to three bobby pins just enough to secure it You don't have to put that many because then if you put too many the Bobby pins are gonna break through the wig cap and then I'm gonna bring the other one and bring it across so that way in the front it's like nice and tight and the baby hairs are down and this is gonna take a lot of patience you guys like it just depends how bad you want to stunt you know that's kind of how i look at it so i'm gonna go in with the wig cap i'm gonna pull it from the front back and then i'm just gonna pull everything like this and then i'm gonna put it over the ears and now I'm going to go ahead and slick back. Now what I'm going to do is lift this. And then comb back all these baby hairs right here that like move. 
Now we're gonna go ahead and glue down the wig cap. You see how the bobby pin mira is poking out right here? Sometimes this can happen, so fuck it. I just took it out because my hair is already tucked in on the back anyway. Sometimes the bulge kind of helps right here because when you do that, I feel like your wig kind of fits tight around your whole head. So what I'm gonna do is pull this down so you guys see that there's like a round thing right here before the wig cap starts to get like thinner. So what we're gonna do is glue down this with hairspray, make sure it's like nice and tight and then it dries. And then we're gonna go ahead and cut all of this off. The wig caps that I use are the ones from Amazon. I do not fuck with the ones from Sally's, they suck. The only ones that are good are from Amazon and they have like packs of 10, I believe. The hairspray I'm gonna be using is the got to be Blasting free spray. What you're gonna do is go around your hairline right here Like this And it kind of does move forward So that kind of sucks You just kind of have to clean it up, I guess you see how it's like coming forward right here This is the only thing that sucks is that you don't want to get it like on this skin Because that's not what you're trying to glue down so now I'm going to go ahead and use this um, hair dryer. You can do it on hot. And we're going to dry this. Once you feel it's dried and nothing is sticky, then that's when you can go in to cut your band. Okay, I think we should be good now. I'm going to go in with some hair scissors because this shit is so tight. So I'm going to start off by cutting right here. And then... I just like to cut all the way up to a little bit before my natural hairline and that's when I kind of start cutting around here and then what I do is like I cut off a little bit first and then I and then later I go in to um, perfect it because it's not going to be perfect and this is like I said where I struggle with the most so for my ears I'm going to cut right here just be careful not to cut your ear. And then we're going to go around like this. And you just kind of want to carve out your ear. And then you just start to perfect right here. And this is how we do our base, people. Yes! And then this is like my favorite part because I'm like halfway there, so... I'm gonna go ahead and put on my wig and then from there we'll be able to see how much more we need to cut or if the lace is long enough to cover it. And what's cool is that I already laid all the baby hairs down. I hot combed it. So she's pretty much ready. Like look at how pretty she's ready to go. So once she is on, see what I mean about being able to see like the little wig cap so the key is to be able to cover this with the lace and if it covers with the lace you're pretty much set and prepped to um glue on the wig so it's like almost there you guys see that and then you just gotta find the sideburns i am gonna go ahead and clip all this hair back so that way when i glue it all of this is back when i glue i'm just working right here on the hairline so that way it doesn't get messy because sometimes dude that should be getting messy if i don't put that hair back so you guys see that you're able to see the wig cap underneath we have to glue it down with some gel and then it'll um slick down really really thin but yeah that's pretty much how you do the base part of it so you guys are already able to see how she's gonna look you don't really have to go above and beyond like how i'm going if it's already dark outside and you don't feel like gluing it in you can just stop at this step and then just leave it on like this but i love to twirl my head and go wild as fuck when i'm out with the friends when i'm out with my girls so you know i like this shit to be laid and i also like to wear it multiple days i'm kind of scared of this glue not even gonna lie I'm just gonna like use a little bit on the back of my hand just to see kind of how it works. I mean, it's really sticky and it smells like, dude, this shit is potent. Look at that shit. See that? It's like my ass cheeks in the summer, bitch. Yeah, this glue is gonna just lay 
flat on the scalp. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab the um, the hair clips to kind of clip the hair back. That way when I glue it, it just like stays on. Okay, so I noticed that with the Neutrogena makeup wipes, this glue does come off easily. So that's something to take into consideration, especially when you're taking it off. So I'm gonna go ahead and pin this hair back like this. So that way, when you're gluing her down, you don't have all this hair coming at you. And I'm going to go ahead and lay down this wig cap because the edges are coming up. And I'm going to use that yellow glue. So I'm going to use the back of my hand just so that way this just lays down like that. So you see how they're like laying flat now? Now I'm taking some alcohol, 91% on a paper towel, just to kind of clean up around the parts where we put too much glue. Now make sure it doesn't touch your wig cap because that's not what we're doing. We're just kind of wiping off any oil. We're getting the skin prepped and also cleaned up for the glue application. Sorry if I'm quiet, you guys. I just really have to concentrate on this. This is kind of like doing wing liner because you want to make sure this lays perfect. So that covers that. This should be good on this side. Everything looking ready to go. Okay, so I'm going to apply the glue a little bit in front. I'm honestly so scared because like, I don't know how much glue I'm supposed to apply. <laughs> Like, I'm just applying. Well, the good thing is that this is kind of like a, like a tip applicator. I guess I'll use these tweezers to kind of like spread it out a little bit. I do feel like this is neater than using the got to be. Because for the got to be, I, to I do two layers. I probably should do two layers of this, but honestly, it's my first time, so I have no idea what the fuck to expect. So now I'm just using the tip of this brush to kind of like drop the lace. But this shit is so strong. But I'm kind of loving it because it just sticks right away. Like you don't even have to like struggle. I do feel like I kind of glued it on a little bit more to the left. But what the fuck? I'm tripping out. Like, it's already in. I mean, obviously, I still have to, like, perfect it. But for the most part, I'm not trying to get, like, too, too fancy either. Oh, my God. I can't believe it's already on. It's just because, like, since I've been using the got to be, it's, like, a totally different, like, process. The only thing is, I think I might have put too much glue. But I'm just going to keep cleaning the tip of this rat comb in the alcohol so that way the glue doesn't stick to here and then you want to just make sure that there's no spots of the wig that didn't get any glue so for example there's like a small piece right here that didn't get any love so i'm going to lift right here and then just kind of apply some right here because we want to make sure that this should stay down girl and I'm sure this dries clear, but I'm gonna go ahead and dry this really quick. But for the most part, this shit is on. <laughs> I'm like literally 
at loss for words. Because <laughs> I didn't even try. Okay, so I'm going to take my blow dryer and we're just going to dry her up. And the funny part is, I did this shit high as fuck. Well, at least now I feel confident enough to do this like for a day of an event. Um, the only thing that I did notice is that I probably should have not put as much glue. I feel like I underestimated the glue for this, so it's kind of like white right here. But I think it's because it still needs time to set. So I'm just going to like give it time. I don't want to fuck with the glue too much because I feel like if you touch the glue too much, then that's when it starts to turn white. Okay, so now you reach the point where if you want to just like lay down some baby hairs, you can from the back and from the front. So what I do is like I do spray a little bit and then just kind of lay it down. Um, I don't like to put too, too much product in my hair because I'm not really gonna go anywhere today. So I would like to conserve this install for tomorrow. You can also like customize um, your baby hairs. So what you do is like you kind of just take a few hairs from here. Just kind of trying to resemble regular natural hair. And then you just kind of cut right here and then the little hairs will just be like chilling there. Ah, oh, I just cut my ear. <laughs> I just cut my fucking ear. So what I'm going to do is just kind of like just cut downward like this and baby hairs are usually small so they're like small and short so you just gotta make sure that they like resemble real baby hairs that's why I like to cut at an angle so some are like a little bit shorter than the others I like how these baby hairs came out ugly as fuck I'm gonna have to cut them shorter cause some of them look long okay whatever I mean nobody's gonna be like up close to me like that okay and then you can also add oil and if you feel like the hair isn't as straight as you would like for it to be all you have to do is just go in with your straightener you can go in with your hot comb um so to oil up in between i'm going to be using this silk elements coconut heat protection spray this one's really really good so i'm just going to rub it in between the hair like this what you could also do if you want to like really really perfect it take your little brush this one and you spray some with this hairspray and you just kind of comb the baby hairs up and this is just going to help like just perfect everything if you're trying to be super extra I also got this off of Amazon it was like a little suggested brush when I was buying the wig caps so add it to your car because I feel like you for sure need this. Other than that, I'm honestly really impressed with this glue. Like, I'm looking up close and you can't even see the glue. And usually when I use the got to be, you, you come up close and you just see the whiteness all around so it looks gross. Alright you guys, so this completes the video. I really hope that you enjoyed this semi get ready with me slash tutorial talking about wigs like i said i'm so excited that i'm finally uploading videos about wigs because you guys have been asking for this for over a year and i'm barely getting to it if you aren't subscribed to my channel please do so follow me on snapchat instagram twitter i'm always online like i'm just like an internet whore but like aren't we all just wanted to go ahead and wish everybody a happy thanksgiving i hope you guys have an amazing time and if you guys are going through shit in life who cares? It's just another day to eat turkey. I feel like sometimes holidays can bring out the worst and like the sadness in people. Sometimes not everybody is like happy and things like that. Look at me like I'm working today, but you know what? I'm happy and I'm thankful that I'm alive and you guys should be happy and thankful that you guys are alive. I would recommend for you guys to do things that make you happy. Um, you know, focus a little bit on yourself. I feel like mental health is really important and the only person who's going to have your back is you at the end of the day. So fuck the negativity, fuck everybody who's bringing you down, and just be you. That's all I have to say for today, you guys. Um, I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye.